We'll get started because I don't want to hold you guys up. Some of the students um, may need some extra scaffolding, so what I try to do is work smarter, not harder. I feel very strongly that I am not supposed to be just this grading receptacle. to show you what a day of distance learning looks like for me. That way you can incorporate anything that you see into what you're doing with your classes. So today my students are engaging in a virtual laboratory exploration. Um, it's by Chem Collective and it's really good. It actually has like a laboratory workbench and the students can select glassware and solute. So we're in our unit on solutions. I want my students to show me that they can make a stock solution. So to do this, they are going to have to, oh sorry, my watch is vibrating to let me know that I have to get into class soon. Um, so they have to let me know that um, they know how to make a stock solution and then they have to perform a dilution. So I'm going to head into the Google Meet, give them some instructions, and then I'll show you the actual activity. Good morning. All right, we'll get started because I don't want to hold you guys up. Um, so hi, it's Thursday, um, got like two more days until our break, so I hope you're gearing up for something fun. I made a team activity for you guys to do. This will take place both today and tomorrow. Then what you do after you complete task one, you'll have to go on to task two, which is where you perform a dilution. Work smarter, not harder. So what that means for you is divide and conquer. Not everybody has to do the same exact thing. Um, you can share your screens in Google Meet, just like I shared them with you. You can divide the work so that maybe like one student in your learning team will do the calculations and the steps, and then maybe another student makes the GIF. Okay, so I just finished my second period class. Um, I thought now I would show you what my students are engaging in so that if you're interested in trying something like this with your kids, this might be a really good time to do it. This is the digital interactive notebook that I made for my students to express how to make a stock solution and dilute a solution. So um, right now you are in editing mode. So I give a space for my students to write their team names. Um, and then these two things are videos that I've imported. And then this is an access link to the virtual lab. Now, when um, the students need to edit something and type something in, obviously they have to be in editing mode. But if they're watching a video or clicking on a link, I really like it when they're in presentation mode. It just makes it easier to access everything. So I first have the students watch two tutorial videos that teaches them how to make a GIF and how to navigate the virtual lab. Um, the first video I made, the second one I did not make, that's by Chem Collective. So once they're ready to go, they can click on this link to access the virtual laboratory. Um, I'll click on that in a second, but I wanna show you the rest of the digital interactive notebook. So the second slide gives them their task, which is making a stock solution. So they're developing a procedure to create 250 mils of a 0.5 molar stock solution of sodium chloride. So they're gonna type their work, here, um, like they're supporting work for their stock solution, and then they're going to record their steps. Once they have those two things, then they actually have to go into the virtual lab and record a GIF using Screencastify. Um, and then after they're done with that, task two is to perform a dilution. So then they have to take their stock solution and get 100 mils of a 0.2 molar solution of sodium chloride. And then again, they have a place to show their calculations the place for their steps, and then to insert their GIF. And then finally, there are some post-activity questions where it focuses on the particulate nature of these two solutions. So the last thing that I want to show you is that some of the students um, may need some extra scaffolding. So what I try to do in digital interactive notebooks is include miscellaneous um, question marks that they can click on things if they have questions or they're not sure. So for example, since this slide is about making a stock solution, 
if you click on this question mark, that'll take them to a quick video. I think it's by Carolina Biological Supply that teaches them how to make a stock solution. So I have one more class to go for today. I will sit at my computer pretty much from eight o'clock to 12 noon. Um, every day there is a form that's sent out by my principal that asks me to basically talk about the things that I did with the kids today. So I make sure that I don't leave my computer until I do that because I do not want to forget. Um, but then usually after I'm done with distance learning for the day, I get up and I go for a walk because sitting at the computer for an extended period of time is so, so tough. Um, you can see like I, this morning I moved my um, little tray so that I could kind of put the computer up a little bit because I've been having issues with my like shoulder and um, it's been bothering me. So I've been trying to kind of, and my neck has been hurting me. So I've been trying to kind of prop things up a little bit so that I have an easier time. So I'm not like looking down all the time, but stepping away when you're done with the day of distance learning is really important. And you may say like, what am I doing? Like at my computer all day? Well, I do have my students meet with me via Google Meet um, pretty much every day. I tell them if there's a hardship where they can't come, they obviously don't have to. Um, but I've had really good turnouts for the kids actually coming to see me on Google Meet. I feel that that has also helped me keep a connection with them. I feel very strongly that I am not supposed to be just this grading receptacle where the students just throw their work into me and I'm supposed to regurgitate grades back at them. I think letting them know that I'm here every day to support them and them coming into the Google Me and having some sort of discussion with me or me saying hello to them really has helped them realize that I'm here and I am more than willing to help them with the content. They're not alone. And I think just seeing me every day has made them feel more comfortable and calm because this is a very weird situation. It's very weird for me. It's very hard for me. I I miss my students tremendously. Um, so it's been difficult uh, to say the least to be doing this, but I'm doing the best I can. And um, I'm still trying to provide them the best education possible. And uh, I think I'm doing a pretty good job so far. I mean, they're poll results were very complimentary yesterday. So I, I think I think it's going well overall. And, and that's why I think polling your students is a really important part of the process. You have to give your students feedback. Well, they should also be giving you feedback. So with that said, I am going to finish up with this last class. Um, if you have any questions or want some help designing digital interactive notebooks, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm happy to help and um, support you guys. Even if you want to chat on Google Meet, I'd be happy to chat on Google Meet with you and show you some tricks of the trade. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I am not going to be posting next week because as I mentioned, it is spring break and I need a break. Um, I need to get a break from some of this digital stuff, but uh, I hope you and your family are well and I'll be sure to talk to you in two weeks.